Wow, looky looky here. You got the black girl next to the white girl. That white girl though. Oh, but the red guts though. Clean on the outside, clean on the inside. Dee! What's up, YouTubers? So, I don't think I really explained why the car's not starting and why I needed to go to the dealership. So, I'm going to show you guys exactly what's going on with the car right now. So, basically, I'm in the car. Make sure it's in neutral. Put on the clutch. Insert the car key. Hit the start button. And it doesn't want to start. It sounds like it's the starter. But before, I was trying to do this, and I, I was trying to jump the car. The battery was acting real weak, like it barely wanted to start. So I started diagnosing the car, trying to figure out what's wrong with it. So I went to the trunk, to the battery, to see if anything was loose in there. So this is where the battery's at, and I was thinking, maybe something's loose i'm like why is it why is it behaving this way and um it's a brand new battery i never had any issues with the starter in the past so i started thinking maybe i left something on and it drained the battery so the next thing for me to do was to check the voltage on the battery okay so i whip out my voltmeter i got the negative on the negative terminal and i just started probing and 11.86 volts is not that bad before i had 12 point something but probably from me trying to keep starting it it went down a little bit so my voltage was okay right so i kept trying to start the car i put jump packs on it and the whole nine so i continued to try to start the car i put jump packs on it and um, still the same result i noticed the overhead light was real weak and I checked the jump post under the hood and the fuses and still everything was good. So I'm like, wow, I'm really stuck. I don't know what to think now, what's wrong with this car. And all of a sudden, all the electronics went blank. Like it had no power at all. You open the door, no chiming, turn on the key, nothing on the navigation. It was just completely black. So I was like, wow, I hope I don't have this crazy electrical issue. So what I started doing was I went online to the BMW forums and I came across some people having the same issue. They started mentioning the positive cable that runs to the fuse box under the glove box. They said to go into there and wiggle the wire because BMW has an issue with that wire. So sure enough, I went under the dash, I found the wire, I wiggled it and all the power came back on. So there was a lot of people on the forum having the same issue. So I was wondering if there was a recall for this. That's why I went to the dealership. And sure enough, there was a recall open for the junction box and the battery cable. Now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So right here in my hand, I have a fuse box from the E90. In the coupe, it's gonna be a little different because there are different electronics on board the coupe and the sedan and the battery cable runs into this this piece right here but this must be the updated style because it's different on the coupe so i'm going to show you what the problem is there's like the battery cable that goes to the back of the fuse box or something and it starts to melt it arcs and it creates a poor connection so you see i i have some of my glove box already dismantled and right behind the glove compartment you can see the fuse box back here and right under this trim panel if you guys can see it right there that's the positive cable coming from the battery and this thing goes onto the back of the fuse box and from what i see online uh the people's thing it like arcs and then it melts the connection on the fuse box creating a starting issue so 
Sure enough, I'm gonna take it to BMW, have the recall service. They said it's not a problem, as long as I didn't mess with it. Even though I took off the glove box, they said it's okay. And they're gonna fix the blower motor and the driver's airbag also has a recall. So that's exactly what's going on, why the car is not starting. Hopefully, when BMW fixes that issue, we won't have any more problems. So right now, because the car is not starting, we want to work on his car. So we're going to pull this car away from the garage so he could get in. We got the tow hook on this car, tow hook on that car with a seat belt. Seat belts are pretty strong, man. Alright people, so we got, basically we took off the cabin filter housing off of the top of the engine, then we removed the, the engine cover, and now 17 pound. we got six coils out, and it's removed the first spark plug, and it doesn't look too healthy. The signs tell me that this thing hasn't been changed in a while, and he has a misfire right now, so we're going to replace all six spark plugs and we do have a, a stage tune on it so we went one step colder all right so right now we about to give them a 50 more horsepower i got the nos right here i'm about to put it in the gas tank this is supposed to give them at least 50 more horsepower so the gas tank is on the passenger side gas tank right here oh yeah I'm about to put the NOS in the tank 